The Little Caesars AAA hockey team is composed of the best players in the region and is coached by the only woman to ever play in the NHL, Manon Rian. On her roster are a pair of young ladies from Toledo who are simply known as the T-Town line. You know, we have two special girls from Toledo and Gia is uh, one of them. She's tall um, and her size make her very powerful on the ice. So she's a fast skater. Um, so when she take on with the puck and with her size and her speed, um, she scare people away. <laughs> so she's fun to, to see going. Um, and, and she's really receptive to anything we teach her, which is great. It's been fun working with her all years and it, it's a big commitment for them. They come from far and um, they're there every practice, every game, and then they want to get better. We drive up here actually three times a week, um, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and Sundays. I really think that the Little Caesars program is awesome for the girls, and I want to make my hockey excel. Really, it's about making yourself better and really getting you to where you want to be, your goal, and being able to play hockey and have fun. What are your goals for your future? Um, my goals are definitely to play college hockey and hopefully make it to the Olympics. I mean, that's every girl's dream. Gia has been chosen to play on the select team and is playing in France come April. Her coach says there are even bigger things in her future. Uh, you know, I see a lot of good things for Gia. Uh, players like this that really committed to the game and want to get better and uh, as those skills, as the size, uh, really help um, in the future. I know those girls, uh, some of them made the select team and Gia is one of them. So they'll be playing on the select team uh, in the spring and summer. And also they want to play D1 college. They want to maybe make the national team and play on the Olympic team. So. Um, obviously it's a long road and not many people make it there, but um, when the girls have dream like this and they work towards it, uh, anything is possible. Tomorrow we'll meet Carly McMahon and hear the story of the second half of the T-Town line. Reporting from Michigan, Christina Awayo.